Um, I can't underscore uh, the importance of, of allies and advocates. I, I, tend, I tend to look up them differently or really think about those two monikers differently. I believe allyship is around really making sure that we are seeing one another and we are, and in, many, in many instances, advocating, but I believe allyship is around acknowledging and, and embracing and in many instances, participating in the, the, the spaces we all live in and acknowledging the difference that we all bring to the table. When I think about advocacy, it's around really being active around that allyship. W what are we doing every single day when we see uh, people be slighted or, or we are in situations or conversations, whether it's in, in school or it's in, at home or even in your place of work, where people either consciously or unconsciously discriminating against a group of individuals. Or, or even when someone says something in, in the workspace at the meeting that obviously is the right thing to say, but when people aren't looking or you're in spaces where there's a one-on-one -on -one engagement, maybe this individual is saying things that are highly inappropriate and actually counterintuitive, kind of productive, not only to your values and your principles, but the behaviors that you set there in your, in your company. That's the moment where you have to pause and say, you know, that's not right. I don't agree with that. Um, that's not what we stand for in this institution. That's not my personal values. And, and I, I'd like you to you know, either, you know, course correct, let's talk more about why that's not conducive to a, to a, to a high performing and an inclusive workspace. But, but having the courage to, to, to point that out and not to allow that behavior to continue I think that's when you start to really broach on this, this advocacy and active advocacy.